Hey guys, let's talk about some Bitbucket repository APIs. And this is for the cloud. I'm not using this for the data center. So I want you to know that this is actually well for the cloud. Now, the first one that it says is listing the public repositories. Now, this will literally get all of the possible public repositories out there. Let me show you. Let me go back to the postman. Let me just. Uh, why is it not copy pasting? Copy and paste. Okay, that was weird. And this is what I get. So, yeah, there, these are like the lists of all possible. Uh, all possible public repositories out there. Mostly the public repositories are public because the code is open source, right? So that is why the repositories are actually public. But if you don't want anyone to basically poke around your repositories, make sure you actually put them to be private. All right, so then we have list repositories within a workspace. So this is what we have. And uh, this is the URL. So I'm going to be copying and pasting this URL right here. And then within this curly brackets, I actually need to have the workspace UUID. Now, when you actually go for your workspace settings and you're going to see this workspace ID, that actually is not your workspace UUID. I actually had to find this uh, through digging for some of the Stack Overflow um, articles in order to find this. So how you actually find your UUID is you go for the inspect element and within a search you can go with a control F or command F if you're on the Mac and you just type in UUID and this is the UUID of your uh, of your site yeah it, of your workspace uh, it seems it seems uh, confusing that's right but this is indeed your UUID let me just copy and paste this because I'm gonna be needing this information that's one piece of the information the second piece of the information that I'm gonna be needing later is going to be fetching the repositories actually so if I go here and it's saying no workspace with the identifier huh that's weird because you ID it's actually here right so with the title of Bitbucket and having this and this is like the data right so from here to here is my UUID but path parameters okay so this is this is something that I have right workspace string and this can either be the workspace ID or the workspace UUID surrounded by curly braces for example workspace UUID now if I actually try to use my ID here which is uh, this one and if I go here ah this this one works better because 
yeah okay so you can use your workspace workspace id so go instead with the workspace id and with the workspace id indeed you can actually find your repositories in here this is the name of my repo as well i have the name of another repository as well so yeah those are that that is how you can actually fetch your repositories now if i go here so i have this and then i add my repo slug or however is it called so if i go for my repositories in here and if I go for my repository settings, I go for my repository de details, I go for the advanced, and this is what I get. I get the UUID. Now it's now it's in the brackets themselves. So let's see. Yep, it finds it. So actually, this works. And as you can see, it's only showing for, for this repository right here. And it's giving the name of it. And it's also giving the uh, branches as well, the watchers, the forks. Basically, everything that you want to know, it's actually being given in here. And it's also giving the uh, href. And this is, this is how I actually get to it with the SSH. Um, yeah, the UUID and everything else, and also what is the size of it, what is the language, the UUID, more of it. Yeah, okay, so what else do I got in here? There is like an option to go to update the repository if you want, and this is uh, the data that you would actually well put in in order to do do the updates where you actually of course i already got the repost log and everything but this is the body data that goes in now you also have the option to list the repository forks which is this one where you basically from here i go and type in forks and it's uh, giving me the size of zero because I don't have any forks within this repository basically itself. The same it will be for the webhooks because I don't have a webhook um, right now. And yeah, there are like uh, a lot other things. List repository watches, watchers, sorry, not watches, watchers. So if I go here, it says watchers, and it's uh, displaying myself as the uh, as the watcher. So that is how it actually works. And these are these are the repository APIs that uh, can be useful. And also you can use the uh, option to create the repository itself. Of course, you need to fill all all of this data in here, and that can be lasting a lot. And this uh, video would be much much longer. But yeah, this is uh, this is what I wanted to actually show you for the repository APIs for the Bitbucket. Uh, don't forget to sh like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.